walk up to your doorstep. I walk up to your doorstep. Look through the window. I don't think anybody's home. I'll come again tomorrow I don't think anyone's alone I go down To the water I go down To the water I run my fingers through it Thanks for having us. Um, yeah, life is like a really weird dream. <laughs> um, it's like crazy. You just like get born and then you're just like doing whatever you're doing until you die. And um, <laughs> there was definitely like a time in my life where I was just watching YouTube and uh, I watched a lot of this on YouTube. So it feels really weird to be here and I still have a hard time feeling like it makes any sense for me to be in spaces like this. Um, but thank you for welcoming us so graciously. Yeah. Inside my cage, I watch the clouds getting angry, turning dark and raining down. I let my fingers run, I want to turn my brain off, want to turn my shame to dust. Nobody hears me now, I'm talking to myself. 
myself I'm talking to God or something. I don't want anything to do with magic. And back then, I had it. Forgiving and sacred. so much um oh wow you guys make me really nervous <laughs> it's crazy I guess I wrote this song about my love for nature mostly. And I think that when I die, what I want is to be composted and um, and to be become soil. And then for that soil to be used to plant a tree. And I just want that tree to be like so big and strong. I don't know what kind of tree yet, I'm still thinking on it. But um, yeah, a tree that people can visit. Be like, this is indigo. Um, I mean, until they die and then they can't visit me anymore, but um, I've always loved that idea. That feels like it has something to do with the song. <laughs> That's just my right to lean into the fire. I mean, you don't have time to change.
Yeah, I would like to say thank you to Ben and Jacob for sitting in. <laughs> um, yeah, I've never um, I've never played with horns like that before. It, it's been so special um, preparing this. Um, cool. Yeah, we have one more song. <laughs> oh, I'll say something about it. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So this song. Yeah, this song is really special, and sometimes. There, there's so many things I could say about it, it's hard to even think of the right one to pinpoint. Um, but yeah, this song, well, the way I write songs, I, I think everybody writes songs differently, but the way that I do is like, I have a really extreme emotion, uh, either really deep sadness or really big anger, um, or really insane, like jittery happiness, and then I, I just go like sit down and focus on it and feel it and then I just write down whatever comes to my head and sometimes I'm good at just letting it flow out and sometimes I like, get in my own way and I'm like what am I doing writing a song and then it just it doesn't happen but there are these magical moments where things just flow out as if it was already written um, and this song did that for me and it feels it felt really important because it was like at a moment where I was realizing that everybody's pain is cyclical, that it that pain just like travels through people because when someone feels pain, they might cause pain. And that I started to feel a lot of um, forgiveness for that. And I thought about my whole life and ooh, thought about my whole life and how uh, how much pain there had been and how much the pain has informed my art um, and also has informed who I am now. And I, I wouldn't be who I am if I hadn't been through all the things I've been through. And so I found myself feeling very grateful for those experiences and also a lot of forgiveness for the people that I used to blame because I know that everybody goes through a hard time and there's not, life is just not easy. and. Um, yeah, I just don't blame blame people as much as I used to. And anyway, yeah, so this song is like that, about that and also just about speaking to my spirit self, like my child self that lives inside and who I talk to all the time and try to remind that I can self-soothe and I can take care of myself and I don't need anyone else. And I am strong. Um, but even though that's a hard thing to remember, I, I find that that's like a helpful practice is to talk to her, um, the little girl that I used to be, because that was the purest, that was the purest th thing I ever was <laughs> before all the crazy stuff happened, <laughs> uh, before growing up. Um, thanks. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
this town